Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat. We're shaking everybody. Good evening, those of you who are still awake. But welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. So thank you for subscribing. I truly appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you so very much. All right. For everything that you do to the channel, all of your donations, likes and shares and everything that you do. I truly appreciate it. Okay. So um, I have some energy here and I have like a little series going on. I am divinely guided to do some videos for you guys that might be a little different, but also to give you guys some energy about, um, you know, this union and answer some questions that you maybe not never really got an answer to. OK, so this video right here is what happened in the past. This video is about what took your masculine away from you, Divine Film. What was going on in the background? If you didn't already know, um, you know, what was going on in the background that took this person away? Okay, the energy that took this person away, that made them sneaky, that made them deceitful. You're going to find out in this about it, okay? So what I also got for you guys is my spiritual baths here. This is the large and this is $20. And then I have the small that's $12. All right. And they already have the essential oils mixed in here as well. These are my large detox Australian crystals. All right. These are some of the best right here. All right. And then I mix them with all of the herbs as well. All right. And I have um, detox um, large uh, salt crystals in these as well. Okay, so um, give me a, a shout at queenwines50 at gmail.com if you'd like to purchase a large for 20 or a small for 12. All right, and these are my spiritual baths, they're always in stock. Okay, all right, so let's get off into this video. And one of them is <clears throat> this came into your life because you had to learn a lesson, and this lesson was about love self-respect and worth and value all right and humanity all right and this was some energy to help you get started on your journey and you guys are mirroring each other you could have been mirroring each other you know thinking about each other you could have met and been in and out of each other's lives inconsistent energy there could have been things that changed in your life that brought this connection together OK, you could have felt like this was some awesome connection when you met this person. It was unique. It was probably unlike any other. All right. But through this, it was a hell of a learning lesson for you guys. And that's what divine wants you to go, to know that this was all a learning lesson that you had to learn on both ends. OK, because now it's a lot of regrets going on here. All right. And a lot of people feel left out in the cold in this situation. But this is something that you had to learn. This was part of your karma. OK, now this energy, what took this person away here? And this is on both ends. But, you know, this, this what took your masculine away here is dark energy. It was a lot of dark energy. It was a lot of dark things that you did not know about this person. OK, it was a lot. You did not really know who this person was. This person was also in fear of love, all right? And you could have been a little aggressive or intimidating showing this person love when they wasn't used to it, all right? They're used to this manipulation love. You know, manipulation love, they was being baited all the time in love, all right? Especially if you guys had some handsome masculine, they could have been baited sexually, Okay, yeah, they had vixens and stuff around. All right, they was having a good time sexually with somebody and they reconciled with that person. All right, so somebody was offering them love and, you know, threesomes and stuff. They had a lot going on here and that's who they decided to reconcile with and they were tempted and this was bringing out their dark energy. Okay, and however, in some situation here, Somebody could have had walked away due to a pregnancy. All right. And you felt something was off or different here. And you was using your intuition. You could have confronted this person about a possible pregnancy. They co-created with someone else here. All right. And someone, you know, they couldn't make a choice. All right. And someone was doing spell work on someone. 
this could have tempted them away as well. Someone was doing spell work behind the scenes or making a choice or helping this person make a choice to walk away from you, to end your relationship, all right? And what is this? To break your heart, all right? Somebody's hand could be hurt here. Something could be going on with someone's hand. <clears throat> All right, yes. Someone's heart was kind of closed to love. This person couldn't meet the emotional um, energy that you were sharing with this person. You were feeling unfulfilled here. Somebody's heart was completely closed. They didn't give that key to anybody. All right. And, you know, when they did here, it was like, it was a cut here. Somebody edited this journey. Because they were doing candle magic, spell work, evil eye, black magic, all right? This was a soulmate, all right? Somebody thought they met their soulmate, the person they was going to spend the rest of their life with, the sun card here, bringing them complete happiness, all right? But, you know, and they made this person put their wall up towards you, all right? Somebody put their wall up towards you, all right? Yes, towards you. Your twin flame. Okay? So, also, somebody could be in legal trouble. Someone could have gotten arrested here. Someone could have a criminal record. Okay? The next energy is, again, here, is that um, somebody could have gotten somebody pregnant. And it could be another pregnancy. It could be more than just one pregnancy. All right, so these things, these are things that could have made this person walk away. And also, they're kinky fetishes that maybe you couldn't live up to. You couldn't satisfy this person's fetishes. Maybe you wasn't willing to. All right, so only take what resonates with you, okay? And this person right here, they had a, like, empty heart, detached energy. They could have came from a broken heart or got their heart broken before and they wasn't willing or ready to put their heart back together again for you or for this love. You know, it just stayed broken. They was detached from love. It just wasn't what they were thinking about in relationships or commitments. Okay? And Divine said this person just always offered you nothing. It was just an empty stage of love. It was maybe heat and passion for the moment, but then it just went dry. And this is all this person offer, and then they move on. So that's what happened in the past, that this person was stuck to really not offering you nothing in love, okay? So let's go off into the energies here. What is this dark energy, all right? It was addictions, all right? All of my decks have been shuffled, all right? Holy Spirit, what is this dark energy? That took this masculine away from divine feminine. All right. And it's this person. Um, they didn't think with their heart. They didn't think with their heart. You know, they just um they didn't follow their heart. They was using logic. They just, you know, they just was outside of their head with that. They wasn't into love. Okay. And this was about marriage. They didn't want marriage or commitment. All right, so they wasn't thinking about that. That was the last thing they was thinking about. They were stuck in dark energy here. All right, they chose convenience over their heart. So they chose somebody who allowed them to do what they wanted to do. Somebody who played with their games. Somebody they could have been with before in the past that was convenient and used to how they were. And that's what they chose. They was feeling kind of odd to start something new with you because they felt like maybe you wouldn't be down for all of their fuck shit. Okay, so they stayed in like a comfort zone. And in this comfort zone, this is maybe somebody they was possibly married to. All right. And this is, yes. And you, this person was hard for you to get, or this is how they felt about you. They didn't want to explain themselves to you. They didn't want you to judge them. They didn't want you to see them in any other way than what they showed you. All right. Than what they showed you here. All right, and it was some rejection here, a lot of rejection. They rejected you, all right, and this is, you decided that you weren't going to settle for less because this person wasn't really giving you anything, and they always play hard to get with you, you know, mind games with you and stuff all along in another commitment.
because it was more convenient. You were too much of a challenge for this person. All right. And you started gaining clarity. You started having a wake up call about this person. You know, you gained mental clarity. All right. This person had just a lot of distractions going on. All right. You guys were not on the same page. And that's why this relationship became a stalemate type of energy here. This person was just keeping you chained to their bullshit that was going nowhere. That's why, that's what happened in the past. They just got you, kept you caught up to nothing. All right. Yes. Because once again, they was never sold on you. They were never sold on you. They couldn't make up their mind about you. They always acted like they needed all this time to decide about you. You know, they was just confused about you. So they kept on just doing them. Yep. Look at this. Kept on keeping you waiting. Just kept you waiting and waiting and waiting, all right? Because they was never sold, all right? And they had some bond with somebody else all along. They were scared to take a new route. So they stayed in a bond and a connection that they had all along. They, it was like they were in and out. You could have met this person when they was on a break or a separation or a breakup with that person that they kept going back to. They was trying to make that work, too. All right. They feel like they might as well just stay with whoever they would. It's easier that way. All right. And it's like this is all somebody they could be traveling with. All right. They could have traveled with, went on trips with. <clears throat> so it's like they have fun. They got somebody here and they're really comfortable with this person. All right. This is somebody they really know. This could be somebody who live at a distance from them. But this is somebody they just decided they're going to stay with because it's easier this way. It's more comfortable with that person. Okay. Holy Spirit, whatever other energies. What made this masculine walk away? All right. Because, like, they always felt like you was going to be there. They always felt like you was never going any place. They took you for granted. They thought your relationship was just indestructible or everlasting love. They thought you can survive it all. They thought that y'all will always stay together. They would keep apologizing and then everything would be okay. This is what they thought. Okay. Holy Spirit. What's this energy here? Yeah. And they were spying on you, watching you, stalking you to make sure that you was never doing anything. All right. Somebody could be checking your online accounts. It's a lot of envy and jealousy here. A lot of lies and gossip. So whoever they're with could be doing all this kind of energy, spying and gossiping. Yes, because somebody fed you an illusion. This is all that they was feeding you is an illusion. They really honestly had nothing truly to offer you. It was just an illusion. Making you think that they was going to give you something when they really had no intentions on it. It took you a while to see the truth in this person. It took you a while to realize, is this love? Or is this just mind fucking me? Is this just a joke? Is this just illusions? Things started falling apart after so long. You started realizing that this person wasn't really giving you shit. All right? Yes. And you felt like all it was was sex. All you were having was great sex with this person. And nothing else. Nothing else. You realized that you was like friends with benefits. All right? But you realized that you would you wasn't even getting really benefits that well. Somebody really, really just turned you into like a fuck buddy. And this it took you a while to learn this lesson about self-respect. All right. It took you a while to learn your worth and your value to come out of this situation to see what was really happening to you. All right. Now only take what resonates with you if this applies to your situation. All right. If you had this type of connection with your divine masculine. All right. Yes. Sexually hooked, but they would not leave the other um, person they was with. You became the third party. This person refused to give up anybody. All right. And that's why you had to walk away because all they doing was stringing you along. But they just wanted to keep having sex with you. And that's what happened here. You know, this is why you walked away. This is why they walked away. Because they just wanted to keep on playing you along. And you could have w w um, woke up to what they was doing to you. You could have woke up to the fact that they was just stringing you along. 
all right? This is why you walked away, and this is why they walked away, apparently, okay? Because they had no choice here. Yep, they was hooked on vixens and sirens, people who were sexually entertaining to them. These could have been strippers. These could have been prostitutes, all right? This is why they walked away, all right? And why you had no choice but to walk away. Because they refused to leave another connection. Because they were just fuck buddies. And because they were just feeding you illusions. So that's why you walked away. They wouldn't change. They were hooked on your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. These are things that happened in the past with this connection. Things that happened in the past with this connection. And why the masculine walked away. Why? All right, because they was going with their logic head instead of their head. Okay, they were going with their head instead of their head. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, why did the masculine walk away from divine them in the whole beginning? Because they were in the spotlight. They were popular. They were in demand. You know, they loved that attention. This is extrovert energy. Somebody could have had been a musician. <laughs> Somebody could have been famous, a singer, a rock star type of energy here. But somebody was real popular, you know, all right? And you were kind of guarded from this person. Maybe you didn't like the spotlight energy. Maybe you didn't trust this person, all right? Holy Spirit, why, you know? Because this person, maybe you wanted to go to counseling with this person, and they didn't want to go. They didn't want this counseling. All right. Holy Spirit, what is this energy? What is this energy, Holy Spirit? All right. Yeah. You walked away, and they walked away because you found yourself love here. All right. You found yourself love. Somebody was just too famous with their friends and family. All right. Somebody was into their world. You found out that this person was on a down low. All right. They could have had chose their same sex lover over you. You know, maybe this is why they walked away from you. OK, you know, you had support in making this decision. You chose another direction because maybe they chose they love her. OK, yeah. And that's what ended this relationship. Maybe someone chose the same sex lover. All right. Why? Yeah, this was unexpected to you. This was a secret. You was unaware of this. This was a possible confession, all right? So, you know, men have secrets, too. Men have feelings and emotions, too. They feel some kind of way about shit, too. Their life change in different directions. But they don't want to be, like, you know, made to feel some kind of way about it. They want, you know, you to respect their choices and decisions as well, okay? Yeah, there was, there's a lot of distractions going on in somebody's life here. Somebody is highly distracted, and somebody feel trapped in the situation. Okay? They feel trapped, like they can't do something here. Also, somebody could be in jail. Type of energy here. Somebody could be in jail. All right? Yeah, but you do have support here. Somebody also could be into exercising. All right? And, yeah, somebody wanted a happy marriage here. This is all somebody wanted. But they couldn't get that from this person, all right? Because this relationship went nowhere. But somebody do want forgiveness. Somebody always apologizing. This is what they did, all right? After they embarrassed you, shamed you, humiliated you. After you caught them all the time. You know, they just always played with you, played mind games with you. You know, they always rejected you, chose someone over you. You know, just made you feel like you wasn't good enough. Kept dating new people, meeting new people. They disrespected you. Looking at other people, flirting with other people right while they was with you. This is somebody who had no respect for you. It's none, okay? You could have had a son who noticed this about this person. Who know that this person ain't healthy for you, ain't good for you. Who know that this person is disrespecting you. All right, they could have said something to you about this. Like, dang, why are you with that person? You know, they treat you like this, and you know, I'd be seeing that person do this. Yeah, you started spying. You could have found out things about this person online. 
You could have seen them with other people. You could have found out trips that they had taken, other relationships. You could have found out about other commitments, other children. You could have found out a lot about this person on other people's pages. All right, what happened before? Yeah, this person felt like they was going to never change. Accept them for me, for who I am, or just leave me alone. All right? You felt like they were dealing with people from different sides of the track. You know? You felt out of place. You felt weird dealing with this person and this energy. All right? Because you was this homemaker type of energy. You was this home person, a homebody energy. Okay? Holy Spirit, what's this energy that I feel? What's this energy, Holy Spirit? All right? Yeah, and this is energy from your past. You stay stuck a little bit because you felt like this is somebody from your past. You was hanging in there. You guys had a history. You could have been listening to old music, you know, just memories hanging on. A lot of nostalgia energy. And it might have took you a minute to leave this connection or realize that you were being taken for granted and being unappreciated. It might have took you a minute to understand that, to realize that you and maybe this person was not on the same page. It might have taken you a minute, okay? Yeah, somebody was like talking about you different, their other person. You know, you had to make the decision to walk away from a connection. You know, you guys aren't on the same page. You guys are different. All right? Yeah, this is you. You had to distance yourself away from some energy so you can keep your sanity, keep your peace of mind. You couldn't keep up with this energy. You couldn't allow it anymore. It was stressing you out, bringing you down, putting you in a dark place. You know, because you know somebody had a lot of different things going on and they were surrounding themselves by a lot of different energies. All right? Holy Spirit, give us the energy of why. Why this masculine walked away? All right? Because it was divinely guided. This masculine could have gotten blocked because they didn't know how to love. Because they stayed in situations that wasn't servicing them. All right? Holy Spirit, why was they... Blocked. Why did they walk away from this connection for, with Divine Fam? Because they had a wandering eye. They was very flirtatious. Okay. Holy Spirit, why did they walk away from Divine Fam? All right. All right. So some of the masculines could have had a fatal event. There could have been a death. Some of our masculines could have passed away. All right. It could have been a fire, an explosion. All right. But they secretly admire you and possibly others. They could also be mourning a fatality or a death. All right? But they're watching you. They still got a burning heart for you. Even though they walked away and chose something different here. All right? Yeah? But now they're trying to manifest you back in their life. After they walked away from you. After they were stuck and couldn't make a decision. They see they self traveling with you, wanting to travel the world type of energy here. All right. They want to celebrate with you, party with you, hang out with you. I hope you guys could have heard that through my heat. All right. I didn't even notice and turn it off this time. All right. Yeah, they see you as the gift now from the universe. All right. Also, they could be know that you're receiving a gift. I see a lot of celebration and party with you. But they just a runner, all right? It's either or is the runner here. But they ran away from this connection here. Maybe you were running away from them after you find out a lot of fuck shit that was going on with them, all right? But somebody became the runner, you the runner or they the runner. You just want to run away from this connection now, all right? Because you feel like this is an unrequited love connection. You feel like this person don't love you. They don't respect you. You know, they don't appreciate you. They have taken you for granted here. And that's why it was a slowdown here. This could be a blocked connection. All right? Somebody's car could be not working. It could be stuck in the snow. But it's definitely a, snow down, a slowdown here. 
Yeah, snow down too. Somebody could be having a winter storm. But it's a slowdown in this connection because of unrequited love situations. Because somebody feel foolish. Taking you for granted. They done made foolish mistakes, foolish choices. All right? Decisions. And that's why this person is coming up as not for you. All right? That's why they walked away. Because some of these foolish choices and mistakes, they don't want to tell you. All right? And somebody could have lost somebody in a car accident due to um, bypassing a red light. But somebody was foolish. All right? You may have discovered that maybe you are better off alone. You could have discovered that maybe this person is not for you. Because they wouldn't change. They wouldn't stop making foolish mistakes and foolish deci decisions. They kept on being locked up. Wouldn't make these choices and decisions about you. Kept being restricted in love. But yet seeking love in others. But not you, divine fam. Okay? Yes. Moving secretly. Not telling you what's going on. Planning and building with everybody else but you. You know, making you feel some kind of way, generally, just like a side piece, being very deceptive, lying to you about everything, not letting you know anything that was going on with them, being very deceptive, very secretive, yeah, and now somebody's longing for you. They wanted you to miss them, but now it's vice versa. Somebody wanted you to miss them and wait for their next arrival, all right? Somebody just played a lot of mind games with you, but now somebody want to put the work into you. Somebody could also be needing a job, needing to go to work. Okay? Yeah? And somebody still have dark energy here. Once again, dark energy. Somebody need to do the shadow work here in this situation. Need to work on themselves here. Yeah? But they're too busy listening to other people. Letting other people make their choices and their decisions for them. And that's why it's not working out. And they also stuck in their ego. They still being a snake. Somebody's still full of temptation and lust. All right. And they lonely now without you. You know, all the mind games they played, they wanted you to be lonely. All right. A lot of you guys walked away from this connection now. All right. And now they're lonely without you. Because they're stuck in their ego. Okay? They miss out on this true love. They realize that this is what you offered them. It's true love. All right? True love here. And they could be hoping and manifesting and trying to get a miracle back. They know they put a lot of wear and tear on you, but you were the happiness. You was the one that made them happy here. You are the target. They want to take that one last shot with you. Even though they walked away from you, Due to lust and temptation. They could still be in this lusty energy. All right. These are things that happened in the past here. And they wouldn't change. You know. But now they got a lot of regrets about this here. And this wandering eye. A lot of regrets about this wandering eye. You know. There's another energy here. Yep. And that's why this ended. That's why this ended. And this is why they wouldn't sacrifice anything to be with you. And that's why divine ended this, they said. This is why they let go. Thank you, Holy Spirit, divinely guided. Divine said, this is why I ended this shit. All right? This is why I separated y'all. This is why I took you away from this situation, divine fam. All right? This was the perfect match, but it didn't work out. But I'm about to give you the perfect match now. And this is what divine is telling you. All right. This is what happened here. Why you had to end this connection. Because this person was what? Holy Spirit said. Deceptive. This person was too deceptive to continue being in your life. They kept moving secretly here. You guys are fucking different. You guys are different. Okay. You see that now. All right. They're deceptive. And they move secretly here. They move in silence. Somebody do a hell of a lot of shit at night. Look at this. They be deceptive at night. Okay? Divine saying, this is why I did what? They put a wall up on this person. Divine, Archangel Michael, they was the police here. They was the guard. 
somebody in spiritual jail as well. All right. And it could be your twin flame. All right. Holy Spirit, what broke this up? This connection. What broke this connection up? Let us know, Holy Spirit. All right. Damn. Somebody was married. All right. Somebody got married. Somebody was married already in this connection. Somebody could have lied about that. You didn't know about that. All right. Yeah. Somebody had a child. They hid this from you. All right. We've seen a lot of this. In any deck I use, it always comes up that somebody hiding babies, hiding children. All right. Somebody thought that they was going to have a new beginning by having a baby with this person. All right. They went ahead and offered that. Okay. Yeah. And somebody stuck in an ego in a major way. All right. I hear Captain Sable Ho. Mm hmm. Holy Spirit, give me the energies. Yeah. And somebody thought they was leveling up. All right. Somebody like younger chicks, younger women. All right. Somebody like people who have it all hanging out here. All right. But somebody also could have a jealous, toxic lover. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Yeah. Somebody want to apologize to you. Somebody want to get on their knees and apologize. They always apologizing. All right. But somebody continue to go out there and do the same fuck shit to you over and over again. And then always come in with a fake ass apology. Just to keep you trapped in a corner full of shit. Okay? The next energy is, yes, this is spiritually based. Your twin flame connection. They want to come in and apologize now. But they're bringing you in some bullshit. After they walked away from you several times and hurt you. Okay? And this is an old crush. This is somebody from your past had a crush. They went back to somebody who had a crush on them. This person goes back and screw around with anybody who call them or text them or anything. Anybody they run into, sleep with, meet out, or whatever. They give that person another chance. Yeah, and that's why it's distrust in this relationship. You can't trust this person. Somebody can have a black kitty cat. It's unreliable in love with this person. They can't offer you anything and they won't. They're going to keep gaslighting you and keep ghosting you. All right. All you're going to get is messages. Okay. Messages. They call what? The karmics. They still call and text the karmics. The karmics. And this is what divine is saying. They're not going to give you nothing. They still hooked up on their karmics. They still keep their connections. They got a lot of friends with benefits. They hooked on their options. This is why y'all couldn't have anything. They have secret affairs. All right. They bring a whole lot of baggage coming back with them. And this is all for my masculines. This is all shit that they're going through. Why you guys couldn't have this connection at this time. Why they had to walk away from this connection. Because it's unrequited love. You might not be in love with this person anymore. Because of all the baggage and all of the drama that they brought to you. All the secret affairs, hidden text messages, returning to old crushes. This love was a tug of war. And that's why divine intervention came in here and tore this down. This is why you had to walk away or they had to walk away from you. Why they had to walk away. They had too much going on, unwilling to sacrifice. All right? This was nothing but betrayal. This person continued to break your heart. Okay, all he did was kept you in a third party, a love triangle. Okay, this is all they did to you guys and kept you full of rejection. They just continued to hurt you. Divine had enough of this. And that's why Divine stepped in here and there's no union happening. Because this person and this energy is why you had to walk away. Because the buyer said they didn't have any, any serious intentions for you. So it's like they walked away and chose another life, another lifestyle, another person. And you had to walk away to choose you. All right. And that's why this didn't work here. You guys found out how different you really were from this person. 
and divine said this person didn't have serious intentions for you. And they rejected you because you didn't fit into their persona. You didn't fit into their lifestyle. It was easier with the karmics. Yeah. You had to make the decision. They made the decision of who they really wanted. And it wasn't you. All right. They didn't have serious intentions for you. And they kept weighing out their options. And they chose who they wanted to be with. This person always played the blame game. And they could have made you feel some kind of way about why they didn't choose you if you found out they didn't. They could have made you feel like you were guilty. All right. It was some reason why you was rejected or why you wasn't good enough. This is what someone could have told you or treated you like, you know, knowing that they had chose someone else. Holy Spirit, for those of you who allowed yourself to be an option and wait on someone to choose you, you got to always choose yourself. You're not anybody's option. You know, it's out there. It's someone out there who just want you, who don't have any other options. They just want you. Okay. Yep. Yeah, look at this shit. The next card is new love. Somebody who just want you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a confirmation. You don't have to be someone's choice, you know, and somebody always constantly choosing over you. You stuck in unrequited love situations, not being fulfilled. Okay. Yep. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Getting breadcrumbs. Because you chose you, somebody who's shortchanging you on love. And that you're not, you know, just fulfilling your real potential in a real commitment. You're just shortchanging yourself on breadcrumbs. Somebody who give a little to everybody. So how can everybody be fulfilled? Right? Yeah. Divine said in divine timing. You will have that new love who will f fulfill you. Okay. <laughs> and this is instead of somebody who got bad intentions towards you, somebody who you got to think about, what are they up to? You know, somebody who's cautionary, you know, somebody who's in it for themselves, not, not for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody who's a manipulator. So they're definitely in spiritual jail right now for being a manipulator. And also, somebody could be going to jail or in jail right now. So, divine saying that maybe somebody, you know, played a lot of mind games and did a lot of mind fuckery. It was too much gone, done here to make this twin flame connection work at this time. All right? Yeah. It had to be balanced in a situation. There has to be balance. Things can't work with no balance in there. It has to be lessons learned in this connection here. All right? In this past life connection. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right? They're telling you until then, it's not going to be anything here because we need to learn lessons in love. And this is not the way someone treats us in love. And you have to first love yourself first so you won't get caught up in these lessons. Until then, this has been edited. And some of these ties has been cut and things are being rerouted until we learn true value within ourselves and how to respect love, how to receive love, how to give love, all right, and come out of our egos, out of our temptations, out of our lust, okay? You know, put distance between this love until we learn love. That's what divine is doing here putting distance here it'll be a breakup here it'll be tower moments because we don't know about real love we don't know what we're doing divine saying here the love that we're building on these shady ass foundations they're not gonna last it's no truce here everybody fucking each other everybody got third parties everybody got secret kids secret you know fantasies secret fetishes this ain't real love and that's what divine is saying here this is all a game. This is all a joke. This is all a mystery. All right? So until then, until we learn, it's going to be all this strife, breakups, 
problems, secrets being revealed, tower moments. That's what's going to be here, all right? And all these fake-ass relationships, divine saying. All these superficial-ass relationships. Divine call them surface relationships, all right? Two, just it looks good on the surface, but it's bullshit in the background, all right? This is relationships have to be on the same two-way street. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay? On the same two-way street. Instead of these surface love last relationships. All right? You know, people who care about what the Joneses say. People who care about what the community say. You know, just sex-based. Fuck relationships. Fuck buddies. All right? Just somebody showing their ass all the time. All right? This is trust. It has to be built on trust, not just sex. It had to be built on faith and love in this relationship, not just sex. It's too much worry going on about cheating, about lying, about mistrust. It's just too much worry. And that's why this has been halted. That's why somebody's in spiritual jail. That's why this connection has been blocked. It's too much going on. All right? It's too much going on. Somebody walk away and they get they live this other life. All right. And you got to learn how to protect your energy, your love. You got to learn how to be selective about who you allow in your life and who you consider love. You can't just go out and let everybody in your life. Some people, you got to have your wall up. All right. This is a valuable learning lesson. So thanks for joining me. If you like your own personal reading, please give me a shout at queenofwines50 at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.